babe. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. Thinking about you. So, I'll talk to you a little bit. Bye. Do you have a problem with boundaries? Managing relationships and, and boundaries? I believe so, yes sir. I mean, if somebody shows you attention, because you describe yourself kind of like you pet a dog, it'll follow you anywhere. Yeah. Like if somebody scuffs your ears up, it's like, hell, I'll follow you anywhere. And these women that gave you acceptance, paid attention to you, it's like even three, four at a time, you, you tell them what they want to hear because you, you, you want their acceptance and attention? I think I have that dependency where I feel like I need that attention. I don't know if it's exactly to say I'm worthy or anything like that, but that I need that. I guess I have a kind of like a codependency of, of needing needing somebody like that. And let me ask you, is there a qualitative difference here? And I, I just want to be clear, because you've got a couple of these women say that you proposed to them, mm -hmm. and you say, I didn't propose to them, but I clearly misled them and discussed wedding plans with them you recognize there's no qualitative difference there. Right, yeah. That's just semantics. Yeah, I mean, because... You clearly like, misled them. Oh, yes, definitely. We. You clearly led them to believe there was a union in the future. Whether you call it proposal or not, you were discussing wedding plans with these women. To a certain degree, yes, sir, we did. We discussed it. Like I said, we never, we never went through, I guess, what you would call a formal process of of you know purchasing an, but an engagement that, ring, I understand well, what you're saying. Are you making that point because you think it, it makes it better? Oh, I mean, you, you, you either misled them or you didn't. Oh, did did you? Did you mislead them? Absolutely misled them. You did mislead them, and that's my point. Whether you got down on one knee or not, you misrepresented yourself to these women as to who you were availability-wise, that you weren't married. You lied to them straight up. You lied to them by saying, "Hey." Let's talk about what the wedding would look like, and I'd go anywhere with you in a heartbeat. That is clearly misrepresenting who you are and what your future plans are. That is a bald-faced lie to multiple women at the same time, and you're not equivocating about that, right? That is what you did. I lied to him, yes sir. Well the reason I'm being very pointed about that is I have certain things I believe, laws of life, and life law number four is you can't change what you don't acknowledge. And if you're trying to kind of spin this or duck or weave it, you're not really owning it. And when you go to these women and you lie about being married and you get your wife on the phone to tell one of them that you are single, that is absolute bald face lying. And when you say, well, but I didn't really say, there ain't no but yeah, I really I said, that. that is, you absolutely misrepresented that. You conned her, you lied to your wife, you cheated to your wife, you lied to her and cheated to her. You lied to both ends of it. and. The town fool can see this is going to hit a wall. Yeah, yeah, I did. I and you I mean, put it I, up on the internet. You know, I did. I lied to. I lied to my wife. I lied to my kids, to my family, and of course, I lied to these women. Yes, sir. I did. Have you apologized to your wife? When all this came out, yes, I apologized to her in person. What'd you say to her? You know, I apologized to her and told her that I was sorry for what what I had done and. And that I did, I had lied to her, I misled her, and used her to, to make that phone call. Okay. You apologized to Opal and said, I used you, I cheated on you, I used you. We had talked and we were gonna seek the counseling. And at that point, you guys were gonna try to figure a way to work through this. And then since that time, she said, no more. Right. She said, I don't wanna try to work on this, I want out, I want a divorce and you're not living in the same roof? No, sir. Where are you living now? With family back home. Okay, with family, okay. Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.